All right, guys, turned out I don't have any decent videos uh, of me printing at fast speeds. So I decided why don't I just do another video. Point 0.2 layer, uh, point 0.5 nozzle, as always, just normal brass, standard brass nozzle, Nova hot end, obviously. And the speeds we can see over here, 300 mm second. And the, here you can see that's the point 0.2 uh, layer because it's point 0.6 right now, it's the third layer I'm printing. Uh, I cannot afford to have uh, higher acceleration, unfortunately, on this printer because of the frame. And that's not even Bowden, it's a direct extruder. So, um, but in, in order to show the actual extrusion, I think this is very uh, self-descriptive. I do have to compensate for temperature uh, a little bit. Normally I print at 220. Uh, right now it's it's uh, showing 250 and 300 millimeters a second it's not what I'm uh, it's not the limit actually so I'm gonna just push it further actually 340 yes over here we have to deal with a little bit of stopping and accelerating but uh, that's even better because you can see how well it handles that again folks i want to point out that i am not doing uh, this test is entirely to show extrusion to test the extrusion the maximum extrusion rate of the hot end so i'm not gonna show on this particular test i'm not showing retraction performance and stuff like that I do show um, acceleration performance and deceleration performance. On this is why I have these corners over here. Um, and let's uh, just let's just see. Um, it, I'm actually cooling it as well at the same time right now. And let's see what we're having here. 340 on a on a straight line. I think I can do 360. This is 350. And that's not travel, it's printing. Let's do 400. 400, no uh, under extrusion yet. And you can see the finish, by the way, let's uh, let's zoom in a little bit. You see, uh, that's 400. I mean, not particularly on this corner, but uh, it's accelerating pretty sharp. And in this location, it does print at 400. Um, I want you to keep in mind this hot and that's 18 millimeters tall, the heat block. The heat block is 18 millimeters tall. It's nothing like, uh, I don't know, like some huge hot ends that show some kind of performance. Uh, it's, it, was, it was a challenge to actually have it. Um, um, and as you see, 2.2 uh, layer over here and 400 millimeters in the straight uh, locations. Uh, it's a top speed. Uh, I want to push it a little bit. I want to wait until it's gonna um, under extrude, and it's just not over extruding. 440. Four hundred forty is fine. Or is it? Yeah, it's a little bit um, under extruding now in this corner, right in the end. So it cannot sustain 440 on a very long distance but uh, we can compensate the temperature a little bit more uh, let's see yeah I, I rose the temperature five degrees extra right now and uh, let me tell you it's printing and the quality you can see for yourself Nova actually likes to print 
faster and it, you, you will see uh, improve, improved quality when you actually print faster with Noro because that's how it's tuned. One more time over here, uh, layers. Keep in mind that the larger nozzles that you guys have, that's 0.5, and um, the layer is 0.2, which is uh, what average user would print. So I guess, yeah, I guess that's enough for the demonstration of what this little tiny uh, 45 millimeter hot end uh, heat block can do when you actually machine it right and design it right.